Don Peoples dead boat. Let's talk about it. And yeah, we about to talk about it. Mr. West, come holler at me. Definitely got to talk about, man, what we just witnessed. Down here in my backyard, man, and here in Atlanta, Georgia. Um, Definitely witnessed Mr. West. Y'all, for y'all who don't know, you know, he did his listening party for his new album that's going to be dropping. And, you know, he did it down here in the new Georgia Dome. And, and you know, from what I hear, it was just on the, I mean, obviously he probably been knew he was going to do it, but, you know, he only put it out like a day or two before. And, you know, yeah, a lot of people was in the building. And even though I wasn't there in the physical, you know, with the internet and everybody phone, shout out to all my people that was in the building. Um, you know, I was able to see what, what, what took place. Um, and now I'm glad I didn't go. At first I was like, yo, you know, I would like to check it out. You know, I ain't seen them since Watch the Throne, blah, blah, skip. And then, you know, I thought about it and I said, after watching that, I'm like, yeah, I'm glad I didn't go. I'll pass. <laughs> but watching it, you see what the agenda was and what the agenda is going forward. And, you know, even though I make light of it, it's really just to hold back the tears of frustration because I understood what it was. And what it was, people, was a ritual. One big sacrifice. You know, looking at the floor being all white, him coming out in all red, you know what I'm saying? Um, face covered. You know, he's symbolizing the blood, the sacrifice, the harvest. And, you know, witnessing this um, was very was very scary. Even though I knew Kanye, you know, they be with the imagery shit now. Come on, he comes up under the best, Jay-Z, right? So we understand that Kanye is a, you know, certified when it comes to the imagery and everything like that. But, you know, Kanye tries to tell us things. He always tries to tell us things. You know, people, because, you know, when he talks and he says it, people think he's crazy. So I think he tries to give us things through symbols. And for those who are in the know, we understand that this was a sacrifice. This was a ritual. But you say, well, Don Peoples, who is he sacrificing? What do you mean? You bugging. You bugging, man. It was just a celebration. You know, Don, the man, drop it. You know what I mean? Supposed to be, you know, a, a Christian Enlightenment album. But yet he got all the industry dudes on there. <laughs> um, but what I mean by ritual is, I mean, if you know anything about it and you study it, you know that, you know, the white symbolizes, the, you know, just the canvas. You know, the, 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 the purity and the red is obviously the blood. And, you know, what he's trying to tell us is what's to come. I mean, come on, man, don't, don't, don't be naive to what you see going around and what's taking place right in front of your eyes. So he's telling you to get ready by speaking through his artwork but, you know, Kanye, man, you know, he also speaks, you know, as above, so below. And that's really what he represents to the fullest. And that's what we're going to discuss today in this video. You know, my man really is on some witchery shit. And, you know, at first, you know, I try to give him a pass because I really don't know what angle he's coming on. You know, I heard, you know, it's going to be some things said about Kim on the on the album and um you know it's gonna be you know revealing but yet and still you got Kim in the stands dressed you know in her all red you know it, it it's just you know one of those things to where um you gotta kinda see what's really going on and what the imagery is. 
you know, and what these dudes try to give off. Because we have fell as a people, we fell totally into idol worship. I mean, I can predict the plan for Kanye right now. My man don't never need to make another album again. He can definitely go start a string of churches because he got you niggas so wrapped up into the 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 fashion of the materialism, the I'm Kanye and you know I could put out some spaceship sandals and y'all gonna rock them. Y'all gonna go spend two for them on some on some moon boots shoes. They're not comfortable. You gonna you gonna spend five and six, seven hundred, a thousand dollars a shirt. And that bitch oversized. You don't think he does that shit on purpose, man? Come on, man. Kanye come from our era. You know, 90s, early 2000s. You know, we had a little bit more swag, even though we was baggy. And I, I take, you know, I take full responsibility for that. But my man Kanye is definitely playing both sides. And I know y'all thinking like, oh, man, he got the, he got the nigga... What you got him and Lil Nas X up for? What, what does this guy do with it? Well, you know, it's just ironic. Lil Nas X drops his single, Industry Baby. And I was going to put a little snippet of that shit in there, man. But I don't even want, you know, because kids that watch my show, my, my vids and shit, you know, I don't really want them to see that. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I'll take a couple pictures or whatever. But it's ironic that my man Kanye produced the record. For a little Nas X. Because I know y'all see the title, you know, with the Kanye West Little Nas X agenda. And this is what the agenda is. It's the as above, so below. Because while Kanye got y'all thinking that he's holier than thou, he go ahead and drop a, you know, send Lil Nas X a jewel so he can go jizz all over it and put it out. And Lil Nas X is obviously on the path to prove that he's the gayest rapper alive. If if the Montero video wasn't enough, if the BET Awards wasn't enough, this video right here took the cake. And like, who would green light something like this? This is what I want to know. Like when 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 it goes out for final press up and stuff like that, who's green lighting this? Because I'm not even looking at the artists no more because these niggas is puppets. What we need to look at is who's cutting the check. Who's cutting the check to these dudes? And they need to be outlawed. Like because at the end of the day, this shit cannot be associated with hip hop. I mean, I almost wanted to fall out my seat watching this, dog. I'm not even going to hold you. Are we serious right now? My man is in jail. Pockets poking out. I mean, I, I look, look, I can't even. If y'all want to go see the video, man, y'all can watch the video. I'm pretty sure a lot of people that saw it. But, you know, I mean, when are we going to just say like, yo, man, we can't, this ain't cool, you know, because hip hop has its origins, right? The origin of hip hop is graffiti, break dancing, beatboxing, you know what I'm saying? Battle rapping, you know, DJing, you know, fly style. This has nothing to do with hip hop, but this is get categorized and pumped on our children though and any other people's children who who choose to watch it because right now I mean the internet's for all people but you know they're using us to promote this shit I mean we're and then you got rappers and, and gatekeepers like Diddy Love and all these other niggas co-signing dude like you know he's living his truth because these dudes are scared to come out the closet so I even listened to the song and I was like, yo, I didn't know Kanye produced this. 
And then I'm like, you know, just certain lyrics, you know, he hit, he said, you know, a lot of these dudes is, he said in the, in the joint, he said, I'm queer, but a lot of these dudes is, uh, what do he, what do he say? Uh, Tyler Perry's Medea's, you know, and, and, and that's, and that's another thing. Like he, one thing about it, he can come out and live his truth and none of these rappers can't say nothing probably because a lot of these dudes know what they didn't did to get through that door. So he's not got the green light from the, from the, from the masters. Right. So now they putting all the bag behind Lil Nas X. He going to get the best production. He going to get all the videos. He going to get the Grammys. He going to get all that along with Megan the stallions and Cardi B's and stuff for the women, because they trying to gyrate over the whole generation. And it's like, when you see what this shit then went to, right? Like it's on steroids right now. I mean, like my man is full on in the joint, got them all twerking. I mean, like, man, what all these dudes will do for a check for a couple of dollars for a few minutes of fame. Are we serious? Like Nas, the real Nas, man, you should have stepped up, man. You should have never let these dudes took your man dog. The new generation ain't gonna rem they gonna know this dude with your name, bro. That's market infringement. That's like like this is this is what Kwame be talking about the go along get along gang, right? Cause all you niggas is in bed with each other, man. And and when you see what your man Kanye is doing, right? He is practicing and showing you the as above, so below. The as above. I'm holier than thou. I'm going to build churches. It's going to be idol worship. I'm collecting tithes, blah, blah, blah. The below, I'm going to slide joints to niggas like Lil Nas X. You know what I'm saying? The abomination of hip hop. I'm going to give him the best beat and he going to gyrate all over that shit. That's the below. So this is what we be talking about. It don't be about no conspiracies. It's about none of that. What it's about is what you're seeing in front of your eyes. They say, okay, you can only believe what you're seeing. And this is why I be believing some of that other shit when they be saying we under like a spell or something. Like with the English language, you know, it was created by a witch and all like that. So it's like certain things we say, it's like double speak. It's, it's putting us under a spell. We under like a trance. I can kind of see that shit. You feel me? Because... It's like, dog, we see this right in front of our eyes and we refuse to call it out. Like, so this is this is what we own. Like, like, like we 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 gotta we gotta do better, people. So we need to finally put our foots down and understand what the agenda is for Kanye West. And for a little Nas X. Because if y'all can't see what we seeing, then, then, then it's an issue. It's an issue. It's not a conspiracy anymore. It's not one of those things that y'all can say, oh, y'all bugging. Because a lot of y'all who say we bugging is because y'all want to be a part of this shit. Instead of starting your own industry, instead of starting your own thing, your own WAP, you want to be a part of these what, what these dudes got going on. Let's keep it a B. This is what y'all want because all the platforms is calling it out, man, and bringing it a lot more in depth than I can ever bring it. Y'all still refuse to wake up. So, man, we about to, you know, we going to continue to try to pump the message, man, and let y'all see what's really going on. But that Kanye West listening party was a straight ritual. All white floors, all red, face covered ritual. And everybody in there, man, caught that ritual sacrifice. I see what's coming. I'm talking about that and pump the brakes on my whole summer because he is signifying what's about to get ready to happen, especially in America. So we need to bundle up, man, because it's about to be a cold winter. Y'all get in the comment box, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Is Kanye showing us the agenda along with Little Nas X? Of what's to come. Y'all let me know what y'all think man. Y'all like. Subscribe. Share. 
spread. Y'all know what it is, man. Come jump on the channel, man. We trying to grow this thing up. It's your boy Don Peebles. Dead boat. Gone.